Hi, this is Roger Walzer. Welcome to our Two Minute Tuesday for October 29th of 2019. Our title for this week is, Are We Headed for a Train Wreck? We are officially experiencing a 10% correction with respect to the S&P 500 off of its closing highs. While the indexes have fallen 10% from their highs, we've seen the average S&P 500 stock fall more than 16% through last Friday. The average top 1,000 largest stocks have fallen over 18% through last Friday. This is the second time in 2018 that the market's fallen more than 10%. While this most recent pullback has been rather swift, it's not uncommon, especially in bull markets. As strong as the market was in the decade of the 90s, there were many pullbacks along the way. As a matter of fact, the S&P 500 experienced a 5% pullback 24 times in the 90s, and seven of those pullbacks resulted in a correction of 10% or more. In other words, in the decade of the 90s, there were seven times the S&P index corrected by at least 10%. The pullback that we are in now reminds me of 94. 94 is called a stealth bear market. It's where the indexes were roughly flat, but the average stock went through a lot of pain similar to what we're experiencing now. It turns out that 94, the S&P had two corrections one for about 9% and another for close to 7 But the average sector declined about 18% from peak to trough that year. In 2018, the S&P has had two corrections, one of 10.16 and another that we are in right now that is a little over 10%. But the average sector has declined by about 15% through last Friday. Another parallel to 94, we saw a sharp rise in the Fed funds rate they raised interest rates six consecutive times, more than doubling it in 12 months. The past couple of years, we've seen a steady rise in the Fed funds rate with three increases taking place so far in 18 and another one forecasted for two, uh, December of 2018. That said, the interest rate headwinds made it difficult for fixed income investors in 94 as well as in this year. The aggregate bond total return index was down 3% in 94 and it's down 2.3 right now. <clears throat> As Mark Twain once said, history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. So while every year is different, there are some parallels between today and previous years. It could, of course, turn out differently, and instead of a 1995-style rally, look a lot like the early 2000s or 2011. For now, we're going to stay the course and pay attention to the indicators and follow our discipline. Typically, in structural bull markets, pullbacks tend to be viewed as buying opportunities as opposed to wholesale shifts toward defensive asset classes. Some pullbacks were steeper than others, but the bull market remained intact until the end of 1999. The structural bear market or fair market of the 2000s looked much different in terms of size and the number of pullbacks. For instance, while the S&P 500 pulled back 5% or more 24 times in the 90s, in the 2000s, the market pulled back 5% or more 47 times, and nearly half of those times, it resulted in double-digit declines. Remember, we don't get caught up with the talking heads in the media. While we could see more declines, the fact that U.S. equities continue to occupy the number one ranking in Dolly and the money market asset class has zero buy signals. Once again, the money market class has zero buy signals. That suggests that the longer-term leadership resides with U.S. equities. As always, if you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns, please reach out to me via the web at rogeratbalzerwealth.com or give me a call at 440-610-3012. Make it a great week.